Hello friends. So welcome to MongoDB with the C Sharp Beginners Tutorial. This is the fifth video of the tutorial series. And if you are watching a video for the first time, you can find the playlist link and all other video links of this tutorial series in the description. I suggest you to watch previous videos if you are a beginner. We request you to support us by subscribing the channel and liking the videos. Don't forget to click the bell button so that you will get notified once we upload new videos. We will be uploading more video tutorials of latest technologies and techniques in software development so stay updated. So let us start the session now. In this video, we are checking some functionalities that we can use while updating a MongoDB record or updating a record in MongoDB database. So let's open the sample application. <coughs> so this is the form design. I'm just opening the form design. Uh, let me open the code. Okay, as we are checking the functions that we can use along with update command and using the update button click event. Okay, so we have already checked this particular part in the previous video. How to update a record in MongoDB database. So here we have declared filter definition and update definition and using this update and filter definition we are executing the update command here. So now here in update definition you can see we have used a dot set command to set the value or to update the value. Now instead of set I'm just showing you some other options. First one is dot inc. A such that a dot product sorry a dot price and now I'm just giving a value 10. Okay so I will explain you what this particular function do. So let's run the application. Yes, the application is running now. So basically in filter definition we have given the filter command to filter with product code with the value what we have entered in the product code text box this text box and once the product is filtered the database will update the record what we have given according uh, accordingly what we have given in the update definition <coughs> okay so now the product code I am using 102 I am going to update this particular record and product name I'm just giving product 102 then price okay anyway we are not taking the value from this particular text box uh, we have just hard coded the value 10 here so anyway we can do one thing we can take the value from that text box decimal dot parse txt price dot text so the application will take the value from this text txt price text box this text box and convert it to decimal then execute this function so i will show you what this inc means
yes so i am giving the same value 102 and product name i am using product 102 and the price now i am giving 10 and just clicking the update button so let's check what will happen yes so now you can see the product name got updated as what we have given here and product price it was 600 before now it has added 10 along with that so now it is 610 so inc means it is an incremental function it will add the value along with the current value now for example i am using 20 here and clicking on update so now you can see it has updated or it has added 20 along with the current value here we can give negative values as well so now i am giving minus 10 and clicking on update so you can see now it has added the minus negative value so now it was 630 before now it is 620 so this is how this inc function will work now i will show you another method that is m u l <coughs> now i will show you how this works so i am using uh, product code 103 here and uh, the product name i am giving you same 103 now here the current value is 300 so here i am giving the value as 2 and clicking on the update button so now you can see this value has become 600 so basically what happened is that uh, the mul function will multiply 2 with the current value so it was 300 before and it got multiplied with 2 and now the value is 600 now if i am uh, multiplying it with 3 yes now you can see it got updated and now the value is 1800 so basically this command will multiply the current uh, the value with the current value now there is another function that also we may need max and i will show you how it works uh, this time i'm choosing product code 104 and uh, product name is product 104 and now i am giving the price as 30 now first i will show with 30 now i'm clicking the update command so the product name is 104 here it is 1004 so you can see now the product name will get updated but the there will be no change to the product price yes see the price was 45 before and now also it is 45 so nothing happened for the to the price actually now instead of 30 I'm giving 60 here now I'm updating it uh, product name I'm giving just adding two more zeros okay now I'm clicking on the update button and you can see now the product price got updated so which means <laughs> this function will check which is the maximum value whether whether it is the current value or the new value what we have we are going to assign so the function will assign the maximum value if it is the if the current value is the maximum then there will be no change if the new value is the maximum value then it will get updated so now again i will show one more example now i am giving 50 so in this case it should not update why because 60 is greater than 50 so it won't update see the value has not updated it is 60 
now if i am giving 100 here or uh, yeah 100 here and i am clicking the update button it got updated now there is one more function it is min it is just the opposite of max application will check which is the minimum value and it will update i'll just show you an example uh, here I am taking the example of 105, so I am updating product code 105 and uh, product name is, I am assigning 1005 and the price, I am changing, first I am giving 1000 here, so it should not update, why? Because 600 is the minimum value, the current value is 600 and uh, I am trying to update it with 1000, so 1000 is the maximum, sorry. Here we are uh, checking the minimum, so 600 is the minimum, so it won't get up, the price value won't get updated, only the product name will get updated. Yes, it has not updated. Now if I am giving 100 here and clicking on the update button, yes, you can see now it got updated. So this, there are some kind of functions that we can use along with update definition so the mainly um, these are the main functions that we use commonly max min then inc and mul hope you got the idea so that's it for this video uh, like the video if you enjoyed it thank you see you in the next video